tomorrow is the Boys and Girls Club ride. And then in two weeks, I, along with nearly 2,000 other cyclists, will jump on my bike and ride 150 miles to raise awareness of multiple sclerosis. It's a grueling but rewarding two days that can leave you feeling pretty sore. Joining us this afternoon with the top five strength moves for cyclists they are going to help you prevent those nagging aches and pains is the fitness nomad, John Ashworth. Thank you so much for being here. Great to be here. And thank you for doing a segment on something that's really important to me. Of course, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's get right to the moves. Right. The first move is bridging on the ball with leg curls or bridging with your feet. Right. So, hamstrings, backs of the legs, difficult muscle group to work unless you're in the gym. This is a really good functional way to do it with the ball. You're going to bridge and curl, extend and down, or with your feet flat on the ball, bridging that way. It's really going to work the hamstrings, and those hamstrings are important when your feet are clipped into those pedals. Yeah. It'll give you more pull up the back. So you want to make sure, I know women especially too, we don't strengthen our hamstrings enough, our quads more often. Typically and so. very imbalanced there, so very important. Okay, yeah. move number two, heel raises. Heel raises. So we're going to take this ball, and I'm not going to try to grab those dumbbells too. So it's as if I'm holding the dumbbells here by my side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And going up and down, you could, of course, you don't need a ball to do this. If Keep you doing just that because you want to. Okay. Get if you just stand, here. you can just stand and do this, but having a ball is nice because you can angle your body away from the wall, and that way you're working a little bit more against. But gravity. you could stand right here and do them You'd up on right your toes or off of on a uh, curb, on a stair, yeah, stairs. anywhere. Okay. Point number three the incline press with the stability with ball. With the stability ball, okay. Now, carefully, uh -huh. rolling down, getting yourself in an incline position, and pushing up. So this is working the upper part of the chest and the shoulders. Really important for keeping those muscles that are holding you in place with your hands on the handlebars. Do you find nice that if strong. people don't strengthen their upper body, they, they are more prone to injury on the bike because you are They're, resting in that position? Exactly. The, you're absorbing then more force in your wrists and your hands, and you'll have more hand, finger, and wrist pain okay. when you don't have the strength up in your chest. The next one, back extensions on the ball. Back extension on the ball. So we're just going to put our belly button right on top of the ball. Of course, the back is a very important part of the body. To keep strong for biking. Is yours strong? You're breathing pretty heavily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to point it out. <laughs> okay, but that is really important again because when you're riding, you're yeah, again, forward you're and your back. You want to hold working. a normal curve in your low back. Okay, and finally, the squat <laughs> and press. <laughs> no respect. All right, the squat and press. So again, chest, shoulders, and of course, the squat for the quadriceps. Very important move. Yeah. So again, when you're doing the hamstrings like with that first move, you do want to do the quads as, as well. Get out of jump. See, now he's trying to impress. <laughs> I'm trying to make up for <laughs> out of breath. John, thank you so much. Great information for cyclists, and, you know, novice and avid alike. And if you would like to read John's blog on the top five strength moves for cyclists, log on to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on news links. And if you'd like to sponsor my ride in the upcoming MS150, I have posted a link to my personal page there as well. So